All right, man, here we are. First segment, first week of uh, All Gassers, No Breaks. We got the man, the legend, the captain, the man, <laughs> Bryson Isla <laughs> Williams. Man, we're going to get ready to, yes, to walk this gas and ask Good. you these questions, man. So you ready over back, over yes, back? Sir. Yes, sir. Let's All right, it. man, let's get to it. Good. So what got you here to South Carolina? You're uh -huh. a Georgia guy. Yes, I know it was hard to get out that state of Georgia, so uh -huh. especially with those Bulldogs before you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, South Carolina, just from the first time I came to visit, uh, I just love the atmosphere. I love the fan base. Um, I know my first visit, I actually met Marcus. It was 2012, right after he got injured. Um, that was just, I came up to a camp, uh, end up just seeing him, meeting him, just listening to his story and stuff. It just got me inspired. And um, just talking with Coroy, my recruiter, but just overall, I want to help South Carolina build a legacy. Um, and that's kind of what led me back to coming back last year after, you know, being injured. Uh, just, you know, trying to create a legacy with a lot of the guys. So. Absolutely, absolutely. So that probably leads into the next question. Who's probably one of your, like, football idols, football mentors. Right. Would you be safe to say probably Marcus? Uh, well, Marcus definitely, but I talk a lot to DJ, uh, DJ Swearinger. Uh, he's one of the guys that, you know, I, 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 I want to play with that tenacity. Oh, oh we coming up on the uh, first yeah, stop. Let's turn got around. First stop, got a first stop. Um, Here we go. Yeah, DJ is one of those guys, you know, just his tenacity on the field. Uh, you know, Melvin is a guy, another guy that I look up to. Uh, you know, a lot of the game caught legends, uh, you know, talk to talk to Sky all the time. Sky Absolutely. is definitely that's one of my best closest friends. Um, he actually came here a year before I uh, before I got here. So, um, you know, those guys are three guys that you know I kind of talk to and you know look up to as far as like football and what they did for South Carolina. So, a, are you a gamer? Or are you a shoe guy? Uh, I'm a gamer. Yeah. Okay. Fortnite, Fortnite? Fortnite uh, oh. 2K, Madden. You know, I kind of play, play okay. games, but you know, it's kind of hard when you get a football. Absolutely. Season, you know? I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad yes, to coach you. Yes, I'm going to be glad to hear that too. <laughs> right. So, uh, so it's more Fortnite more than yeah. sports games? All right. No, okay. no, definitely more sports games. You okay. know, Madden and Madden and all. You know, I definitely, definitely get down to Madden. Uh, living in the South. You know how important food is. Right, definitely. You're a guy who's always never had a problem with weight. You look yes, like you got the six packs all the right. time. So I gotta ask the fat boy question. Right. right. Drums or flats? Oh, flats. Oh, oh love man. the flats. See, that's hey. the Atlanta. Hey, love the flats. Yeah. You know, you gotta, hey, from Decatur, Georgia, you gotta get the flats. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So they gotta be fried hard, though. Oh, gotta be fried hard. Uh, you know, it kind of it kind of was different for me up here. You know, I, I, I found a couple of spots up here that, you know, prime crispy, but, uh, there you, go. you know, you know those boiled wings, they kind of give me some time. They <laughs> kind of have me kind of mad sometimes up here, man. Oh, yeah, don't give out those spots, man, because we gotta, we don't want to blow up those up and uh, oh, not be able to get those wings when we need. Oh, yeah. So is it ranch or blue treat? Uh, for me, ranch. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right. So, last, last trek of the trip. Right. You've done a lot of great things at this school. Right. Um, as a student athlete, do you remember the first class you ever took? Uh, my first class, you one on one with uh, an advisor, Art Farlow. Uh, you know, just that class, just meeting a lot of those people, where a lot of the people that you know I spent most of my career uh, career with here academically. Um, a lot of those people were in my major. Um, but that class just was kind of special to me because you know it really showed me that you know he inspired me to really pursue everything academically. Um, you know he told me I was more than an athlete. And you know that, you know, I need to, if I want to be a broadcast journalist, or I want to be a part of the media, you know, pursue that. Um, you're bigger than just an athlete. So, you know, my family told me that, but Professor Art Farlow, you know, uh, he's an advisor here, you know, he definitely told me that too. I love it, I love it. One yes, last sir. thing, let's talk about this SEC Leadership Council. Right. I mean, it's a great privilege to be named to that, but you're one of the chairmen, so right. you got to be kind of like at the pinnacle of that. Yeah, How'd definitely. you get to be to that point? Um, you know, just, just constantly, you know, uh, Coach Munchamp, you know, his first year here, you know, they, they came up with it, uh, Commissioner Sankey. Um, you know, Coach Munchamp, he just saw that, you know, he saw that leadership quality in me, and once they invited me, uh, just being vocal and, you know, actually talking and being, you know, proactive in the meetings and the dialogue. Uh, they actually just love my conversation. Um, and then just constantly going about when again last year, you know, not knowing I was going to get injured. Uh, I was able to go back last year and, you know, the guys voted me as the vice chairman and it meant a lot. Um, definitely going to the, I went to Dallas for the autonomy yeah. meeting and helped pass the transfer rules. So, you know, that was, that was pretty special to me, uh, you know, my last year helping set groundwork for, you know, the, the generation after me. So that's perfect, man. A guy so, that's more than just a football player, more than just an athlete, a great student, a leader on this team, man. And he had extra questions and answers <laughs> to spare, man. Yes, great yes, job, sir. man. We appreciate your time.